I've started to uh, round over the top of the ball on the front and uh, you have to work two directions from the this side as well as from from this side again using a flat chisel and uh, you want to be careful not to get it too high I've got a little piece of string here that's uh, two and an eighth inches long the other, the, lo the larger, takes about a two and a quarter inch ball. But you can see I can stretch the string exactly to the top of the ball from the bottom. And that way you can see that it uh, is the right height. And you need to do that on the other side as well. So this needs quite a bit of, of shaping uh, to get it uh, more round. So we'll work on that for a little while. The center of the ball should be right here in the uh, where we divided it in half, and everything should go down from the center. And it helps if you get down on the side of it so that you can see the slope.
to be see a continuous ball across the tenon and of course it's supposed to round over as it goes down this one has a little flat spot right there we're going to have to take off I got a 3 ace number 7 here and then I'm starting to carve out the web and then I'll have a back bent gauge to get down in here later you can hear it <coughs> when it gets to the back And uh, in the back, 
when I shaped this talon, I started to uh, shape in the back, and eventually I've got to finish carving the sides. That'll be next. So uh, we'll take it from there. <coughs> I'm just finishing up the uh, web area here on the sides. got the knuckles in the back and I think we're about done with the uh, heavy carving this web needs some work on yet over here it should be a little thinner <coughs> in there but then uh, I'll use uh, files to clean up the heavy uh, facets that are on here on the back there and uh, start to smooth it out and we got one done three more to go